You see this? Yo, if I was plucking this out, I wouldn't have no damn hair. used to be kind of, it would look kind of ugly, like, <laughs> I'll 
pick them and then it's like shit, I gotta go somewhere. And one eyebrow would look kind of scarce, you know, kind of sparse in a way. And the other one would be kind of okay and, you know, it would just it wouldn't look right. So, <laughs> I'm glad that I don't do it as much. Years ago I had a bad habit of doing it. I would pick so bad to where it would be like certain patches in my eyebrow. Both of them, you can just tell I've been picking and it was really, really bad. Like I said, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be, but there is a condition called trichotillomania and I only pick my eyebrows, I don't pick my eyelashes, I don't pick any other foreign hairs on my body. I just don't. I'm very glad that I don't pick the hair off my head because like I said, I wouldn't have no hair. I'm very glad that I don't do that. I would never have hair. And um, I'm anxiously awaiting for this hair to um, go back to wasteland. It's going to take a while. It'll take around another like, two or three years, but you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to let you guys know about trichotillomania. You've probably heard about it before. Maybe. If you have not and this is your first time, then you can go research it. It's actually pretty common in a lot of people. Most people have had traumatic experiences that kind of make, made them want to pull their hair out. I don't know why it triggers this. I don't know why um, some people go through this. I don't know why. It's just an undying urge to pluck your hair out and people will be sitting there watching you like, doesn't that shit hurt? And you're sitting there like, no, it feels good. When I pluck my eyebrows, I'll just sit there and pick and pick and pick and even if I use a tweezer um it still feels good I'll just I mean yes sometimes it'll hurt but <laughs> barely it don't bother me but again it's just it's on impulse it's an impulsive thing you'll just be sitting there sometimes you'll do it out of boredom you'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden pluck 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 you don't realize you're plucking until like fucking 30 minutes later and you're like oh man <laughs> you probably didn't you've plucked like 20 hairs out of your eyebrows <laughs> Or your actual head. I've seen women who they grab handfuls of hair and they keep plucking or they pick one part. They'll pick one piece here and they'll just keep tugging at it. Tugging, tugging, tugging. And for some reason I'm like, whoa, I know that hurts. Uh, your scalp hurts way worse than my, than my um, eyebrows. And yeah, it's kind of cringy. It, it is cringy. Because like I said, there are people in a worse position than I am. They're still um, doing a lot. I've had this eyebrow thing for years, but like I said, it greatly calmed down. Um, when did it start calming down? A, a long time ago, about maybe four or five years ago, it started to calm down. It started to calm down because, um, although I'm not in counseling or anything for my abuse, um, just my husband being here for me and loving me and talking to me, talking to me all the time, and you know, doing my self-meditative um, practices, stuff like that, you know, me finding myself, learning myself, all of that has contributed to me not being as nervous as I used to be, to me not being as unfulfilled in life, you know what I mean? So naturally, my trichotillomania has gone way down the scale. So again, like I said, my eyebrows is a period, my eyebrows are looking good. I have those times, I have those weeks. Okay, I can't say weeks. <laughs> I have those days I'll just pick a lot. I'll pick more than normal. Well, I'll sit there for like three, four days and I'll pick a lot. And my husband will see me do it. Sometimes he'll tell me not to, or sometimes he'll just say, Oh, you're picking again. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> But it feels good to me. It comforts me in a way. But like I said, it is not as often as it used to be. And I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very grateful because it's not really a good thing if you keep doing that. You're just gonna look weird with like missing patches of hair. And you know me, I'm very natural. I don't, I'm not drawing in my eyebrows. I don't do that shit. <laughs> I don't take no eyebrow pencil, no makeup pencil, no nothing and start drawing them in. I just, that's not me. That's gross in my opinion. I don't do that. That's not me. So yeah, I'm grateful. Grateful that it ain't my damn scalp that's going through this. I don't have the urge to put my hair on my scalp. I do like to play with my hair. That's normal. I don't always play with my hair. I'll sit there editing and I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'll do that. That is normal to me. I've always played with my hair. I'll play with my curls all day long. But I don't have the urge to put fucking ball spots in my hair. I have never ever done that. My hair is still thick and 
pretty full and um, it always will be as long as I take care of it. And I'm gonna keep taking care of it so we'll be back to waste length in no time. So I think I've said all I've need all I've needed to say. I believe I did. If I left anything out then then I'll probably say it in another video. But um I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed this educational type of video and yeah, if you have trichotillomania, try to find ways you can prevent um, damaging yourself because mostly it's from the scalp or your eyebrows or whatever you like to pick. Some people like to pick their eyelashes, some people like to pick their genital hairs. Ouch. But whatever you like to pick, find ways to ease your anxiety. Just work on that. And Sometimes it subsides in time. It's not some, really something you need a medication for. It's just a regular nervous habit. You gotta kinda occupy yourself so you won't pick as much. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other topics you'd like me to discuss below. Right in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Peace out.